everybody. This is Ed from Ed's Model Madness. Went out to the store today and made a couple purchases. So I um, want to do a unwrapping, kind of show you what I got, and uh, maybe give you a little bit of teaser for things to come. So here we go. So I've read an awful lot about people doing, and I think they call it gold leaf or, or silver leaf or something like that, but they use, it's a foil that they use. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed while holding the camera. But it's a foil that they use to try and do uh, like the chrome trim on, on their cars. So um, I found this at uh, one of my local craft stores and it says that the foil is 0.25 millimeters thick and it, it's self-adhesive foil. So anyway, I'm gonna give this stuff a try and see if it works for, for chrome trim. So anyway, that's something to kind of look forward now, to. Now the next thing is I went out and I got a couple cans of spray paint. Now, why did I get these two colors? Well, I've got a snap tight Camaro that my children had given me several years ago that I haven't built yet. And I want to paint it. Um, I chose this color for that. So that's going to be one of the upcoming projects. And I've got a Dodge that I've been working on. And I'll show that to you it's sitting over here on, on my, uh, my bench. Color me gone. 1964 Dodge 330 Super Stock. Now this is actually a build that I'm doing for a friend of mine. Um, this is his model. I told him that I was going to build it for him. And uh, I've actually started, as you can see, I've got the engine, the interior, I've got the paint job done. I'm just not real happy uh, with how the paint turned out. And since I'm doing this for a friend of mine, you know, I want it to look good. So I'm going to sand this down. Um, not sure if I'm going to sand it all the way down or not, but uh, especially the, the side panels. They just don't look good at all. So uh, you can probably get an idea after seeing the, the gleam of the paint. So anyway, that's why I went and bought the blue spray paint. Because I'm going to respray that and try and make it look better. Um, because, like I said, this is a build for a friend. Um, I really, really respect him. And I want this thing to look nice. The big purchase was... 1970 Chevy Chevelle by AMT. This is a 125th scale model and it appears that this build is pretty much all stock which I always love the stock look of the Chevelles anyway. I was actually looking for the 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo model. Um, they didn't have it. They've had it before. They didn't have it today. So Anyway, I didn't want to come home empty-handed. Now, the ironic part about this was this 1970 Chevy Chevelle kit cost me $19.70. I'll do a, uh, a kit review here soon, open it up, show you what's inside, all that. But for now, just a real quick video, let you guys know that, hey, I'm still here and uh, everything's going well, just really busy. So, uh, just trying to stay out there, stay on everybody's radar screens, but um, keep looking. Uh, I promise I'm going to put more videos out soon. I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've gotten recently. I mean, I have gotten a, a ton of new subscribers. Um, a lot of you guys out there in the community, I appreciate all your comments and everything. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, please make sure that you do hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to my channel thumbs up if you like my videos and go ahead and hit the notification bells if you don't mind me blowing up your inbox when I do publish a video so that you can kind of follow me and see what's going on so with that thank you so much God bless all of you and have a very very great day bye Hey everybody, Ed from Ed's Model Madness, and just wanted to kind of do uh, an unwrapping. Uh, went out to the store today and actually bought, oops, 
guess I need to reshoot that again.